We'll bend over and pick it up. We all know you enjoy that position. Faggot. You pick out your prom dress yet, darling? You gotta get it early so your boyfriend knows which color to wear. Is everything okay here, boys? Yeah, it's fine. Faggot. <laughs> Michael, are you okay? I'm fine, thanks. I think it's really sad when people discriminate based on somebody's sexual orientation. Like, who are you to say that the way I live my life for the people that I love is wrong? Like, why is that considered different because I like women or, or some men like men? Well, I think what people don't understand is that when you hate something or someone and you judge and you point the finger, uh, you're not just putting a burden on that person, but you're putting a burden on yourself. Basically, I learned from a very young age that it's in people's nature sometimes. When we don't understand something, we're afraid of it. You know, it boils, it creates a certain fear, and fear and agitation create hate. I think, you know, hating somebody because of their race and hating somebody for being different is wrong, you know. There are a lot of people that are that are different. You know, the majority of our politicians out there, a lot of the people that changed the world, a lot of these civil rights leaders, they were different. I believe that, you know, a lot of people who get bullied, um, it they allow it to, to go on because maybe they don't know how to defend themselves or speak up for themselves. And I feel like it's easy to be a part of the change. You don't have to do anything big, but sometimes People just need someone to be a voice for them because they choose not to speak up for themselves or maybe they can't speak up for themselves. The Summer of 64 movie that we watched in class was very interesting to me. It shows that people have been hating long before that and unfortunately in this day and age they still hate based on race, religion, sexual orientation, all of that. The best way to make a difference with somebody who hates some, another person or another group is to actually go and introduce them to some good people from that group. A lot of hate is based on just sheer ignorance or misunderstandings, misconceptions, or watershed issues that no matter what, they will never budge on that one issue. And that makes them hate the other group because on that issue, that other group is different. You know, everybody's different in their own way. Nobody is normal. What does normal even mean anyways? I think it's sad because this stuff does happen today. And even though there are things moving forward, we also have a long way to go. And I think a lot of us have to fight for what we believe in. I honestly feel that for someone to be judged because of their sexual orientation, I think it's not only wrong, it's um, I don't know, it kind of makes me question your character a little bit. So I have family that um, has experienced hardship um, because of their sexuality and um, so much so that they've had to like resort to leaving and just finding an escape um, just because um, they're looked down upon and they just feel shunned from the rest of society. And I feel that hate is taught. It's not something that is predestined in our blood or DNA or anything else like that. I think anybody can be a good person no matter what race, creed, sexual orientation, anything else like that. The unfortunate part is so many people focus on the negative aspects just because of one person. We shouldn't discriminate against people. We shouldn't ever shun somebody away because they're different. A lot of the times we tend to be scared of somebody because we don't understand them. But we should always be open to new things and new beliefs and new ideas. Even at a young age, people will discriminate. People will hate on you. People will turn against you. And that's what kind of made my personality. From a young age, I've been a fighter. I've been a fighter my whole life. You know, and it came to a point where I became so good at standing up for myself. I realized I need to stand up for other people, you know, and I've been a soldier for 11 years and I stand up for anyone that needs standing up for. Like, I don't believe that anyone should be discriminated against for any reason. Whatever false, you know, self 
empowerment that hate gives you, it's, it's, it's all false. And if you could just let go of those things, and if we could all just let go of hating things and hating people and just, you know, having that inside of us, it's, it's such a more peaceful way of living. And it's, it's really a way to find peace and live in peace. And I think that's, that's what we should all try and understand. I look at everyone the same. I've had, I have family members who are gay. I have friends who are bisexual, gay. I look at them all the same and, you know, it's kind of dangerous to be bullying them, to be treating them different because it could lead to suicides, it could lead to depression. So as cheesy as it may sound, I feel like sometimes the, the biggest thing you can do is just to speak up. Even if it's not you or if it's something that you're witnessing, just speaking up for somebody else or, you know, seeing something and you, may, you know it's not right, even though it may not be your business, just probably just wanting to step in and say like, hey, you know, like, chill out, like that's not cool or anything like that. Just having a voice for somebody else, I feel like that's, that could be a big change in anyone's life. You know, you're born into this world uh, just like everybody else and just because um, you love somebody differently or somebody of the same sex, um, shouldn't it shouldn't be treated differently. You know, we all have the same rights and at the end of the day, like, who are we to judge anyone in the first place? Only God can judge someone, you know, so everyone just needs to basically learn to stand up for what you believe in. If you believe in it, then stand for it. If you believe in it, then fight for it. Because if you're not willing to fight for it, it's not that important in the first place. I wanted to talk to you too about tolerance and acceptance. A lot of people don't understand the difference between the two words. I think that everybody should know that it's acceptance, but tolerance is something totally different right. and humans shouldn't, humans shouldn't be in the category of tolerance. Can you explain that? Well, it the most basic way I can explain that is that you tolerate bad hair days, you don't mm -hmm. tolerate people. Mm -hmm. You accept people for who they are. Everyone is unique in their own way, but everyone also has the same dreams and the same aspirations. The sense of being other is still a constant feature for many of us. Even those who try to assimilate as much as possible and proclaim that they're just ordinary citizens like everyone else. Such social and historical circumstances surrounded Shepard's popular canonization as the gay and lesbian rights movement continued its decades-long struggle for equality in 1998.